Let us discuss one such expression in this video. Press bell button for video alerts. Hello friends, this is Jay Balakrishna once again before you. Fine, so you all have been watching all our videos where we have been sharing the communicative expressions to make your language beautiful. The speciality of our videos, you know that very well, simple and easy to understand teaching methods, simple and easy to practice, simple and easy to learn, simple and easy, 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 very easy to implement. So be ready to learn one such important communicative expression which we are going to teach you in the simplest, easiest way so as to make you feel comfortable, so as to make English language very beautiful, very simple, so as to make teaching and learning English enjoyable experience. So let us discuss one such expression in this video. What is it? After watching this video, you will come to know about talking cause and negative effect. Am I confusing, with you, confusing you with grammatical terminology? No, 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 that's not my job. That's not at all my job. We do not confuse our students or viewers with grammar terminology. Listen carefully. Cause and negative effect. For example, in spite of taking medicines, I am not able to recover. In spite of studying well, I could not score more marks. In spite of going early, I could not get the ticket. In spite of studying very well, I could not perform well in the examination. In spite of inviting him personally, he did not come to the party. In spite of preparing very well, I forgot everything when I went to the exam center. So, what have you found in these examples, in these sentences, in spite of? I and in space, spite, space of. This person is very important person in English language. Now, if you are fond of grammar and grammatical terminology, his name is preposition. He is called preposition. It is not necessary to remember, but I am telling you this is called preposition. Our job is how to use him. In spite of, to the right side, you can keep any noun or you can keep an ing form or being. Then you can make large number of examples. How to make example? Take in spite of, to the right side, keep a noun or ing or being then start making examples and where should I use such sentences when you are talking about cause and negative effect cause and negative effect what do I mean by that I'll show you in a simple way with a pair of examples there was heavy rain. There was heavy rain. All the students came. Sentence A and sentence B. There was heavy rain. All the students came to the school. What does it mean? Rain did not influence the students. Rain is the cause and students effect. Cause and effect. There was heavy rain but heavy rain did not show any effect on the dedication of the students. 
so though there was heavy rain the students came to attend the classes so when you are joining this type of sentences we need the help of in spite of so in spite of heavy rain in spite of heavy rain comma if it is written english you have to place a comma here in spite of heavy rain all the students came so as i have told you just now to the right side of in spite of we are allowed to keep a noun heavy rain this is a noun adjective plus noun in spite of heavy rain all the students came in spite of strict instructions many students have brought cell phones to the examination hall in spite of severe warning many commuters many two wheeler riders are not wearing helmet in spite of serious instructions from the principal many children are not wearing proper protective shoes to play football in spite of advice from the doctor you have not quit smoking in spite of sincere advice from your doctor you haven't stopped smoking in spite of my advice he joined politics in spite of my instructions he went abroad like this you can make sentences now not only nouns as i have told you you can also use ing form now how to use an ing form i'll show you in this example now look at these examples he ran fast he missed the medal this is cause this is effect these are two sentences he ran fast he missed the medal so when i want to join these two sentences i can take the help of in spite of in spite of running fast because here i have an action verb so i will convert that into ing form in spite of running fast meaning though he ran fast even though he ran fast although he ran fast he missed the medal the gold medal the bronze medal the silver medal whatever it may be in spite of running fast he missed the medal now this example i can also say he missed the medal in spite of running fast he missed the medal in spite of running fast this in spite of running fast can come here we can cut here and paste it here and make the example so here what i am trying to tell you is you can also add ing forms in english grammar we call them gerund forms g e r u n d gerund forms if possible you remember otherwise it doesn't make any difference all that you have to remember is ing forms are allowed in spite of taking medicines i am not normal in spite of practicing regularly she is not able to pronounce the words in spite of going to school every day she is not able to learn anything in spite of sleeping early you are not able to wake up early in spite of doing regular exercise you are not able to reduce your weight in spite of working so hard the performance is very poor in spite of acting so brilliantly i do not get any awards in the movies in spite of singing so melodiously i haven't got any opportunity so far in spite of writing so many poems none of my poems has been published so far in spite of playing so brilliantly i was not selected for the further games in spite of reading so many books i am not able to give proper answers to the questions this is how you have to make the ing forms now not only ing forms you can also make use of being here how to make use of being i show you with some more examples keep watching look at these examples 
he's the richest businessman he is not happy these are the two sentences he is the richest businessman he is not happy this is cause and this is effect now i can join these two sentences by using again in spite of now here i can't use the noun form or the regular ing form i have to convert this is into being in spite of being the richest businessman in spite of being the richest businessman he is not happy he is not happy in spite of being the poorest man in this colony he is very happy in spite of being regular to the classes he hasn't learnt anything so far in spite of being punctual to the classes he has not understood any concept so far in spite of being healthy she is taking so many medicines in spite of being so slim every day she does exercise in spite of being so obese he is eating lot of junk food in spite of being so intelligent he keeps he maintains a low profile in spite of being so popular he is known for his modesty in spite of being very strict he was not successful in inculcating discipline among his students so like this you can make use of being and ing forms and any nouns but in spite of is a very important expression which we can make use of it in our day to day english language in spite of working hard i failed in spite of not working hard i passed in spite of earning so much of money she is not happy in spite of running fast i could not catch the bus in spite of swimming every day i haven't reduced my weight in spite of writing so many poems i haven't won any prize so far in spite of sleeping early he was not able to wake up early in spite of making so many arrangements there was stampede in the exhibition in spite of making excellent arrangements we received lot of flack from the media in spite of performing brilliantly in the last show he was not selected for the next show so this is the way of using in spite of so i hope we have been clear in making in spite of simple and easy to use in spite of finding so much of evidence policemen were not successful in catching him red handed in spite of making so many arrangements there were some disturbances in the program that's all we have in this video so keep watching and keep learning more and more about communicative expressions taught and explained in a very simple and easy to understand manner thank you for watching this video this is j balakrishna subscribe to the channel for more videos 